Man, passenger driver X, aka Weave, maybe a Debbie Dad, bitch. Black woman, this is not a win. <laughs> if y'all think this is a win, I am embarrassed. Can't y'all see? This is why y'all will always be the third option. Now, you know you ain't never seen a woman this dark in the top picture in none of his lead roads like Love Don't Cost a Thing. All of his women that were lead roads were either Christina Million complexion or high yellow light skin. Then y'all finally see this nigga get a dark skinned woman pregnant, like a woman, a woman that's like Kelly Rowland complexion. Now all of a sudden you're like, oh he ain't colorist after all. Oh he like black women. Oh, I tell you, this is why we always gonna lose black women. This is why. Didn't I tell y'all in my Chris Brown video about the black woman paying him a $1,000 to take pictures with him? This is the same thing right here. Nick Cannon is falling off. You think Nick Cannon don't know what these niggas are saying out in these YouTube streets about him being a colorist? So he just gonna get a couple of dark skinned women pregnant here and there and y'all gonna use him them as an example as to why he's not a colorist and why he like black women i tell y'all it's very easy to impress you mammies this is why y'all will always lose didn't i tell y'all in my chris brown video that don't be surprised that chris brown is going to get a dark skinned black woman pregnant to secure that dark skinned female fan base didn't i tell y'all this is what's happening with Nick Cannon right here. And y'all, y'all black women, y'all fiending, y'all all beasting and shit. But that, this dark skinned woman could be biracial because there are dark skinned biracial people. How we know? You know what I mean? What, what she makes with? We don't know. You know what I mean? But if she's really a black woman, this is a low for us. I'm telling you, this is a low for us. This makes, Y'all black women, y'all man means look like the placeholding women that y'all are. These niggas could trash y'all, weaponize these preferences against y'all, and, and these men of no color. Remember the incident with him and Eminem? Yeah, remember that? So, and he talked about how white women is a status symbol. Now, all of a sudden, he get one dark-skinned woman pregnant. Now, all of a sudden, you know, y'all want to big this up like he love dark-skinned black woman listen y'all black women need to stop falling for the okie doke pandering after all his biracial kids after all these come on y'all gotta stop it okay this is why like i say y'all will always lose this is why you know what i mean and if this woman have a black son i feel sorry for her because he's going to repeat the same pattern because at the end of the day black men always come back to black women even when they are you know with their preferences they always do they confront like they don't fuck black women they always do you know you know why i say that because they spend all day talking about black women even when they are in relationships with preferences they're too obsessed with us to not be having one behind their preferences backs now hold on now, we know this is not going to be his last baby mother. He's going to be spreading his poverty peen sperm everywhere. And this is a perfect example as to who's creating single mothers. So this is his ninth baby mother. His tenth baby moms will be announced by the time this video is done. Because we know he's a piece of shit. And we know that... Black men, that's what they do. Most of them create single mothers, but oh yeah, we're going to blame the black woman. Yeah, the black woman is the reason. Who was he raised by? But where is Nick Cannon's daddy? Um, where he at? 
Oh, oh, um, mm, I bet she will. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we stuttering. Oh, we don't know, right? Oh, yeah, but we're going to blame the mom, right? Yeah, we know. And this nigga gets to create all these broken homes. This is not how you create a family. I'm sorry. This is not how you create legacies. This is poverty peen. I don't care how much money he has. Who cares if he's a millionaire? After a while, he's not going to be able to take care of all them kids if they're in separate household. Maybe they'll get together. Who knows? But I don't know. I, I doubt it. I'm not sure how their living situation is or how the child support is going, you know. But if he was to pay child support, I don't know. I, so far, I haven't heard anybody found child support against him yet. But we don't know. It'll probably come out in the future. Who knows? But all I know is that this is a dusty right here. And y'all need to stop being happy that he got a black woman pregnant because that is not a win. That is a loss. Just let y'all know that y'all ain't nothing but second options. Y'all ain't nothing but place holders and that's just let's you know give a message that black no matter how the black men act or how you treat the black woman the black woman will be sitting there waiting for him to choose her now i say this is poverty pink because i doubt these women is getting money off of him i mean they gotta have their own businesses i just don't believe that nick cannon's providing for all these women i'm sorry it's just not in black men's genes to be providers, so I don't know. I mean, if he's provided for him, hey, I don't know, but I heard other stories, but I'm not going to get into it. But all I got to say is that black women, this is a loss for you. These men is going to come back, and they're going to try to pander to y'all, and please don't fall for that okie doke. Most black women are mammies. They don't have no standards, and they get impress easily well i mean easily i mean easily by anything and it's a shame it's 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 not good all i could say black women is divest put you first do you because um listen yeah you mammies don't have a lot of time before this shit flip just saying so bye